Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be doing something that I promised I'd do a while ago and kind of forgot about. Um, but I will be showing you how to take the deployer mechanism off Crazy Bolt and that also includes taking off the shooter and the trigger itself. So yeah, the reason why it took me so long to do this was A, I kinda forgot, and B, I had to remove two of the screws already because they are just super stripped and they would have been so hard to get off on camera and I finally was able to get them out which is great so and this space is a little bit more narrow right now because the other side is just full of pieces from building that so yeah without further ado let's get into this so to start off with you have to remove two screws up here and then these two screws down here and the best way to do this is to get it in the robot mode that way you have access to these two screws and better access to those. Just get our handy dandy little Australian screwdriver here. Just take out these screws. I like to keep these screws in separate piles, it just makes it easier, even if they're the same length, it still makes it easier to know which ones go where. So I recommend doing that when customizing your action figures. There we go. See, the factory screws are always stripped. And there's people shouting on the other side. Okay, there we go. Now, just take the jaw off. Just take it and split it in half. Just like that. Now, I'm going to leave this on because it's just a pin and it kind of makes the undercarriage look a lot better in car mode. But let's just let's see here. Okay, so this mechanism here requires you to push it down and just kind of hinge it out like that and once you do that the spring will fall out like so and then you pull it apart it will shoot off like that because that's how long the spring is but you can just okay you're gonna have to leave the button in there because as you can see the buttons on a pin unless you have a way to get the pin out then you can try and get it off but I mean, hang on, I'm going to try something right here. Just give me a second. Get that off the floor. I do have a pin remover, it's just... Um, it's terrible. So I just like using a screwdriver. What's very useful for popping out pins are these right here, these little tiny screws, screwdrivers. Basically just take them and just push them in here. And there you go, there goes the pin. I pushed it out the wrong way. Now when pushing out a pin, make sure that you push it out from the side that's not serrated. And I'll show you in just a sec what I mean by that. As soon as I get this out. There we go. Alright, so if you notice on the pin here, it shows you that it's a serrated edge there and a normal edge on the other side. You always want to push away from the serrated edge because once that gets freed from the plastic, then it's just with the greatest of ease, you can just pull the pin out. So now that you have the pin taken out, you can this will just this will fall out of here. And now what you want to do is take it and just well make sure you want to put the hood back in first. 
then you just want to take this entire assembly and line everything up and I remember this. Okay, first you take this and then yeah, then you want to take this, line this up first. Then take this entire section and put that in there. Slide that back down. Close all this back up. And then replace the screws, which I'm going to do on my own time because they're a pain in the butt. You just basically take the screws and put them back in the holes there. So once you've taken off those four screws, taken everything out, and then replace them, which thank god I didn't film it because this one would not go in because of how stripped it is. But after you replace all that, this is what Crazy Bolt will look like, and he looks a lot more show accurate. And you have these pieces left over. I mean, they're not like that, but there's still pieces left over. I'd say keep these in like a Ziploc baggie and label it and then keep it somewhere just in case you ever want to sell this in the pat uh, in the future then you have all the pieces you can just put back together which just follow these instructions in reverse to put it back together but yeah pulling that off will release these two clips here and the butt the um, safety this is the safety and the safety spring that'll go in there when you put it back on make sure to unhook it like you had to take it as I said and unhook it from there this is the actual release mechanism and this is the plunger itself along with the plunger spring and you can see it fires the mini cons very far because of how big this spring is like here's the spring next to a bionicle mask it's a pretty big spring so yeah this is what crazy bolt looks like in his robot mode and just quickly getting into his vehicle mode here Look at how much better that looks. I mean, yes, there's a giant gaping hole in the back, but you can see this is like his flame boost from the show or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, this looks a lot better without the thing sticking off the top or the... I mean, you have the bottom jaw sticking out the back, but that's it. He's got no more plunger and no more clips jutting off the back. And... He rolls a lot better now that this is not sticking out from under there like it used to have so much friction on there that it would not roll properly now it rolls a lot better so yeah that's about it for taking apart crazy bolt so yeah there's that little tiny custom you can do and that took very long for me to get to but oh well so yeah there you go hope that was helpful in any way shape or form and if you need any more toy hacks, just ask and I can do that because I fix toys. That's something I do. If you guys have broken toys, just let me know and I can probably fix them for you. So yeah, I'm the Toy Guy and stay tuned for my next video.